sours and sweeter drinks. Um, but we have a maple glazed pork tenderloin that actually had some bourbon in it. The other thing that people say is use some alcohol in your cooking. We only used um, like two ounces of bourbon or whatever, but still significant enough. It wasn't even two ounces, it was half of an ounce. Um, bad numbers. So we have a maple glazed pork tenderloin, um, and then we have some instant pot mac and cheese um, with some roasted broccoli, just oven roasted broccoli, and then I threw some of our um, some of our high white and handsome barbecue sauce, or steak sauce, not barbecue sauce, uh, steak sauce on here because it's really great at, at adding some oomph to some straight up seasoned vegetables. Salt, pepper, and some paprika. That's all I put on here with olive oil in the oven, baked it for a little bit. And then we throw some of that sauce on here, and I'm, I can tell you right now it's gonna be great because I already snuck a little piece. <laughs> I already, I already ate some when we were in the kitchen. I don't know if you'll caught that. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, it is very delicious. Um, the pork tenderloin is the is the the showstopper here. I've never made this pork tenderloin recipe, and I was very excited that it turned out the way it did. Yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say that broccoli is delicious compared to mac and cheese and pork tenderloin, but this makes it very simple and very, very easy to enjoy a bunch of broccoli. <laughs> like, let's just call it how it is. Broccoli is fine. I like eating broccoli as the vegetable I consume, but I can tell you right now, if I had to sit there and choose to eat broccoli, mac and cheese, and pork tenderloin, I would never choose broccoli. A <laughs> hundred times out of a hundred. But if we're gonna eat the broccoli, let's make it as good as possible. And that's what I think we've done here. Is we've made it, you know, where it's not dry, doesn't taste like it's chewy, it has flavor to it, and it's very simply seasoned. <laughs> Pour it out for broccoli. Yeah, shots fired at broccoli. Uh, broccoli is the vegetable I eat all the time, so broccoli knows I love it. Broccoli in mac and cheese is outstanding. I'm kind of doing that right now. That was my idea right away for us, was to actually just eat both of them. <laughs> to combine a bite, have them together. I agree, I like broccoli and mac and cheese. I also like peas in mac and cheese, um, which is funny because I don't like peas outside of mac and cheese. One of those weird things about Colin. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, magnificent! What's going on? All right, we're gonna finish off this drink. So I was at the grocery store. Fantastic. So before I go on, I talked about how sweet this drink is, right? Let me just remind you. Let me just remind you that yellow chartreuse is actually stronger than most base spirits, including the base spirit used in this cocktail right now, Reposado Tequila. So the yellow chartreuse is actually our strongest component. Our bittering agent, the orange bitters here, our bitters here are actually also stronger. So this is four alcoholic ingredients, the lowest of them being 20% ABV, AKA 40 proof. And that's only two thirds of an ounce, I think is what that was, St. Germain. So this is a high ABV cocktail when you actually look at the numbers, but it tastes so sweet. That's because my flavor profile is more used to something like that. If somebody else was having this, they'd probably think this was a stiffer drink with a lot of floral and herbal notes to it. Not sweet like how I see it. So um, this is one that you gotta, you know, tip your hat to if you like cocktails and if you like chartreuse, which today is chartreuse day, so yeah. <laughs> a tip of the hat to chartreuse. <laughs> Uh, broccoli and blue cheese soup for the win. Oh, I've never had broccoli and blue cheese soup. I've never even heard of that before, but it does sound interesting. I actually enjoy broccoli and blue cheese, but that's only because I've had blue cheese sauce with wings and broccoli on the side, and it was too close to each other, so I just, like, put the sauce with the broccoli. Um, but that, <laughs> that is, that's a whole different thing, so, uh, broccoli and blue cheese soup sounds interesting. I'll have to look into it. All right. My first dehydrated lemon wheel on there too. I've not heard of that, but it sounds amazing. Broccoli and blue cheese soup. Yeah, me either. I'm very great. 